Hi, good morning. My name is Father Rayapa, and uh, I'm talking about uh, Laudato Si models. Actually, I'm creating some models um, which can be helpful for a practical application of Laudato Si. Pope has written so beautifully 246 paragraphs. And we need to put those paragraphs into action. So that is what this effort is all about. So I've already talked about seven models. All you have to do is type my name, Raya Pakasi, and then type Laudato Si models. And uh, I've created 10 of them. So you can create your own models, uh, uh, the models based on the um, teachings of Laudato Si, and people Probably if you create some of them, that will help people to follow the teachings of Laudato Si. So this is number eight, the eighth segment, Laudato Si number eight, which is titled Agrarian Theology. Ah, it's very difficult for me to talk about it, but uh, that is the truth. Sometimes truth has to be spitted out the past 2000 years church or the Christian religion never even created agrarian agrarian theological basis I call it agrarian theology the world population is almost 65 to 70 percent are farmers and they don't have a theological basis for their action of course, the Bible is having full of references to agriculture. And how come church goofed up? How come? 2,000 years. And uh, they have so much of theology. So much of theology. Just in a metaphysical uh, realm. But what about in practical realm? If theology is not used by his own followers, what is the use of making theology? So today, the, the predominant uh, section of our human population are farmers. We need to create a theological understanding or a theological basis for acting in the agricultural uh, realm and there are plenty of it we can the the bible starts with the agricultural references till it and keep it genesis 2 15. recently many people committed suicide in india almost three lakhs of people committed suicide between 1994 to 2014 it is a very, very sad situation and uh, we need to provide a theological basis, otherwise we are going to lose so many people again and again. So Laudato Si provides a lot of uh, references on it and uh, one reference I want to read is just, um, it is right here, um, uh, Laudato Si 180, he says, uh, agriculture in Poor regions can be improved through investment in rural infrastructures. A better organization of local or national markets, systems of irrigation, and the development of techniques of sustainable agriculture. New forms of cooperation and community organization can be encouraged in order to defend the interest of small producers and preserve local ecosystems from destruction. There are many other, and when you read Laudato Si, you will understand the importance of starting here. Thank you and God bless you. Have a nice day. Bye.